up you guys it is me Damien and today we'll be doing another DIY video so today if you didn't know guys um some of my vlogs I showed you guys my uh, pop socket it is a DT studio pop socket and today I was thinking it's kind of like normal and I want to make it like uh, way cooler so if you guys don't know I hydro dipped my fidget spinner and I was like this is a really good idea why not hydro dip my um pop socket so I took out the TT Studios logo out and we got the pop socket itself so yeah so here are the stuff you need you'll need one spray paint two spray paint three spray paint and any you can do how many uh, spray paint you want doesn't really matter and last but not least pop socket also, you'll need some water to do this. Gloves. Last but not least, a bucket. Brown and bathroom. So, first thing first, you need to get some water. So, get the bucket and get some water. Hell load of water. Then, you want to take it down. So, after you got all your protective gear on, these are like optional, but Gloves is a must, but mask, you could use it if you want to, you can use it if you don't. So right now, get your spray paints. Right here. And start spraying. So how you want to do this is, come closer. I'm scared because it's too close. So what you want to do is, get your spray paint, damn, spray it on, and then, oh my gosh, it's so strong, shake it up, spray it, last but not least, the last color, done that all you gotta do is get the pop socket so what you want to do right now is get your pop socket if this is like a used pop socket then make sure don't dip that in just dip this in dip it in take it back out um okay wait a minute Okay guys, so after like 50 minutes, after 50 minutes, I don't know if this is like good or anything, but I mean, this is what we get. It's like a light blue thing. But here I'm going to change it, I don't know, but I'm going to use this for now. So yeah, I'll see you in the next step. So right now what you're going to do is get this pop socket to dry out somewhere. So, get the pop socket. So, just leave it on something for a while. And now, let's do the next step. Okay, so, I forgot to tell you guys, but you guys will actually need these printers. Or, you can use just normal printers. These will be the best. I got this Canon one. And now, you have to choose your logo. And just print it out. And then cut it. So as you see, we got the logo printed out right here. And the only thing you need to do is just cut it. Cut, cut, cut. So after I waited for like 45 minutes, here is the outcome. It doesn't look that good, but right now you would want to get some top coat. If you're wondering why you have to use top coat, I mean, for this, because this, after you're done, it's going to be really powdery and stuff. So you need the top coat to make it like very, um, like, oh, frick. So you get the top coat, just put it on it. If you're wondering what's top coat, it's just some stuff uh, that your mom, oh my gosh. It has been one day. 
I know I mean one night and it's finally dried up so right now what you want to do get this just do this so it's gonna make it more glossier and like the um bits won't like fall out or anything you could you don't really have to do this if you don't want to just a recommendation and while you're doing this get your thing DTS or your logo, stick it on it, and then try to go over it. You're gonna need a lot of this top coat. So now the last step is just let this dry on itself, and you should be done. So after a while, this has dried up. The outcome is not really that good, but I mean, it's still worth a try. You guys can always make it better. But I got my phone right here. And let's stick it on it and see how it looks. I think maybe... Here, I guess. About here. So, oh my gosh. Um. So if you didn't see just now when I did this, like a lot of those D stuff, the, the stuff I was talking about just now, came out. So what you want to do is just keep doing this, and. As you see, it's going to be a lot less. Swipe it. Very simple. And there you have it. Your custom pop socket. Guys, I guess this will be the end of the video of the custom pop socket. Or how to hydro dip slash how to custom make your own pop socket. So if you did like the video, then please go down and smash the like button in it down below. And if you're wondering why am I doing these other videos, not Pokemon, because... I want to do like other videos. I don't want to get you guys bored. So I try to think like the best ideas. And lots of you guys requested this. So yeah, why not make it? So yeah guys, I'll see you guys next time. And before I leave, hope you're having a great day. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.